Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. Today's book is Men Against Fire, The Problem of Battle Command by S.L.A. Marshall. Also went by SLAM, apparently. This is a pretty old book. Uh, I believe this came out in 1947, right after World War II. Uh, I read this book because it's been referenced in several different things I've read. Most importantly, it was referenced a lot in On Killing by Lieutenant uh, Grossman. Um, so this was why I read it originally. A couple things about this. When I first started reading this book, I thought, ah, this might be a little outdated. This might be a little, you know, he talks about, like, for example, people not shooting in combat, which On Killing talked about a lot. And I thought, oh, you know, a lot of military training has kind of corrected that, and people actually shoot their guns a lot more now, and maybe this book just isn't, doesn't have it anymore. And then I kept reading, and this is one of the most impressive books I have read to date on leading people. Uh, obviously, this is specifically leading people in combat, but if you just want to understand uh, leadership and how people work and how to lead people, um, and if you want it specifically applied to combat, even better, but I would recommend this book to you. Uh, he does a very good job of just saying, look, right or wrong, this is just how it is. This is how people work. This is how people are motivated. This is how you lead men. And it's a very philosophical level book. It's a very... Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say it has like direct applications, but it, 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 he goes through some different case studies and he just explains how good leaders lead people and gives some principles for doing that and some recommendations. And it's a really good book. I mean, if you look at this book, uh, let's just see here. So anytime I highlight stuff in books, that means like that's super important, okay? And when you look through this book, see if I can do that, you're going to see a decent amount of pink highlights in there. Uh, and the reason for that is there's a lot of really good stuff in here that's super important and, and super good to know. So, again, I would highly recommend Men Against Fire. It was one of the watershed. It was one of the watershed works when it came out, and to this day, it still remains a strong contender. About you know 80-ish, a little less years later. So. Would highly recommend if you're looking for a book because you're a, a team leader or you're in some kind of leadership position, specifically for men in some kind of dangerous or combat-like situation, this is a good book for you to read if you want to be better at your job. Do brave deeds and endure.